A major part of the applications of machine learning of, of economic value have been in the field of supervised learning in the recent times. Although a heavy research is going on in unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning domain, but still uh, most of the economic values have come from supervised learning. So let's see what is supervised learning. In supervised learning, we have input data and the corresponding output data. So we have labeled data. For example, in our last video, we saw housing prices prediction. So this home features will itself have a vector of different features. So we have one uh, set of features and then the corresponding price and then another values for those features and another price. So we have a one-to-one -one labeled data. And based on that, the neural network will learn to predict the price. Similarly, in the case of user info, and advertisement info like age group, location, and other things, you click whether user will click on the ad or not. Another application can be image uh, processing, where we detect objects and also classify objects in one of the different classes. So uh, here also we have a label data and then audio from audio to transcript similarly English to Chinese translation and uh, some complex example could be that in autonomous driving we have a camera put on the car which takes the image and then we also have some radar info so combining these two we can predict the position of other cars on the road so uh, in the case of uh, first and second it's a pretty standard uh, application and simple neural network can be used. In case of image processing and computer vision, we mostly use convolutional neural network. And in the case of sequential data, where there is a concept of time series, we use recurrent neural network or RN. Similarly, in machine translation, that is English to Chinese or any other language. And this is a complex example where we use some complex or custom neural network where some component will be uh, CNN which which will extract features out of the given image and then we some other parallel neural network may be processing the radar data and combining these we can uh, get some results so this is an example of a complex or hybrid neural network so let's see uh, what are these different types of neural network architectures. So if you see a diagram like this, which is just very simple or standard neural network. So you can see these are the neurons which are taking input from uh, the nodes of previous layer. And we call this input layer. This is the output layer. And all the other layers are hidden layers. So this is a simple feed forward standard neural network and in image processing uh, research papers you would see and diagrams like this. So these are convolutional neural networks because these uh, rely on the main operation convolution and this diagram means that uh, this is let's say width of the image, height of the image and these are the number of channels. So each channel could uh, be processing some different feature. For example, if you want to detect horizontal, vertical, as well as diagonal edges in an image. So in that case, we can assume uh, for simplicity that we can have three channels where first channel is concerned with outputting the, all the horizontal edges. Second channel will be outputting all the vertical edges and third channel the diagonal edges. This is a very raw example and for simple, simplistic uh, example for understanding purpose. Similarly, uh, this has a different width and height and a different number of channels and so on. And this will be finally the output image depending on the application. And in the case of sequential data, here you see this is the input at time t minus 1, at time t and t plus 1. and so on and this is the activation at time t minus 1 and the corresponding output and similarly for time t and t plus 1 
So this kind of sequential data is processed using recurrent neural networks. Now uh, the application of neural network has been uh, effectively used on structured as well as unstructured data. So uh, structured data means that here uh, this is an input x1 side of the house this is another input and many other inputs and this is the output. So these are the input features and these have a well-defined meaning and these are well structured. Similarly here in the add revenue example. So this kind of data is called a structured data and these have been uh, relatively easier to process historically but uh, there are also unstructured data where the features are not well defined. For example if you want to process an image and you want to f uh, rank the photos based on how good they are. So here the features are not well defined. You can define a feature like uh, is lighting good or not in the image? Is focus good or not? Is the subject prominent or not? Is, is, it, is there any motion blur or other aspects? So these are the different features. So there is not well structured information in the data. Uh, and similarly, in the case of audio signal and some raw text, these are all examples of unstructured data. But uh, in the recent uh, past, maybe last four or five years, there have been significant uh, application of neural networks in unstructured data. And the deep neural networks are very good, good at processing these unstructured data, which was not the case a uh, few years back. So I hope uh, you are excited enough to learn uh, the other applications of neural networks. So see you in the next video.